Welcome into another episode of Timekeepers, a show about dope watches. In today's episode, we're taking a look at another beautiful watch from Seven Fridays T Series. While this watch is lighter and thinner than many Seven Friday models, it's got a classic style that fills a nice gap in my personal collection. And while I wouldn't call myself a colorful watch person, this one has really grown on me over the last few weeks, and I find myself wearing it way more often than I anticipated. I'm Adam, the Orlando drummer, and today we're taking a deep dive on Seven Fridays T201. Let's do it. Always, let's get some main specs out of the way. One of the standout features of the T201 is its size. Now by watch standards, this is still a relatively large watch coming in at 45 millimeters by 45.6 millimeters. It also has a thickness of just under 13 millimeters, but I should mention that by seven Friday standards, this watch is actually a little bit undersized when compared to its predecessors in the P and M series. The T-Series watches are the smallest, thinnest, and lightest watches that Seven Friday offers. Of course, in the watch world, 45 millimeters is still considered somewhat large, but if you're not a big watch person, any models within the T-Series might be a good place to start within the Seven Friday lineup. But honestly, even with the size reduction, this watch still has a great weight to it. It comes in at 110 grams. It's not a light watch by any means, and it falls in that seven Friday sweet spot for me. Heavy enough to feel like you're wearing something quality, but light enough to forget that you're wearing it, especially when you're moving your hands or playing drums. I love the way this thing feels on the wrist without being too weighty or bulky. Like all Seven Fridays, you can find an NFC chip embedded in the back of this watch, which allows you to scan it on your phone via the Seven Friday app, so you can make sure that you have an authentic Seven Friday and register the watch to your name. I really dig the case back on this watch too, which is a different design than what you might find on many other Seven Friday models. The T201 is powered by a TMI NH70 motor, which is different than the Miyota engines often found in Seven Fridays, but the TMI still comes with a 40 hour power reserve and it's a notoriously reliable watch engine. The case of this watch is stainless steel and the finish switches between polished, brushed, and sandblasted steel. We've also got a beautiful 7F logo engraved right on the crown and the full Seven Friday logo is on the side of the case. Now the color scheme on this watch is one of the most interesting features. The color of the T201 is described as gradient green. It almost reminds me of a military green, but a little bit more lively, lively military green. Crayola, cut me a check for that one. Now it's not just the strap that features this color, it's also the glass itself, which is tinted green. And even cooler, that gradient green glass is the same material used in the glass of Seven Friday's Tiny 3 sunglasses, in case you wanna get super matchy matchy. The strap on this watch is made from a super high quality canvas. It feels great uh, and it also has green matching stitching. One very small detail that I love about this strap is the contrasting color of the loops. So the free loop, which is the one that moves, that matches the strap itself. But the fixed loop next to the buckle is made of brown leather calfskin. A really tiny detail, but I thought this accent color was pretty cool. Now, as you may have noticed, this watch is not the only new color that I brought into the studio recently. Last week, I received my brand new Pearl Masterworks drum set, which features this incredible black limba finish. And it's funny sometimes how new colors can so easily grab your attention when it's just not what you're used to seeing. Even just a few months ago, if you would have asked me if I would wear a green watch, I probably would have said no. I have my style, my preferences, and I don't like steering out of my lane too often when it comes to color. But just like this drum set behind me, sometimes a changing color can bring you more inspiration than you might think. So in a week full of new colors for me, I thought I'd remind you that every once in a while, you should always make the effort to just take a step step outside of your comfort zone. Sometimes that can be as simple as wearing a new color, sure, but it can also be an activity that you wouldn't normally do or a food you've never tried before. Maybe it's a piece of con, maybe it's a piece of content that you've, 
Maybe it's a piece of content that you've never made before, or a different type of workout in the gym, a new style of music, or a new pattern to practice on the kit. For me, these kinds of changes have always proven to be more refreshing than anything else. So here's your reminder, try something new this week. You'll be glad you did. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Timekeepers. Adam here, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.